my take on the Caleb Dressel 100 meter butterfly time of 45.4, 49.45 seconds from 31 July, 2021. I'm filming this Thursday, 16 May, 2024. I'm Tanis Leonardo Shikahari of Seattle. And this is the Caleb Dressel of United States of America 100 meter butterfly race at the 2020 Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. Time of 49.45 seconds in the final on Saturday, 31 July, 2021. With his time, he achieved a personal best time, a world record in first place. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of it being his second Olympic game, his first Olympic games where he won one or more medals in individual events, as well as his first Olympic games where he set a world record in, a, in, in an individual event. So it was uh, the preliminaries, semifinals and final of this race were fast, multiple people fast. So not one person kind of head and shoulders above the rest. Um, no, it was a fast race and the pool of competitors in this particular race since then, Saturday, 31 July, 2021, and today, Thursday, 16 May, 2024, it continues to deepen and people continue to get faster. And so it's been a, a interesting, the men's specifically, uh, and, and women's, but the men's is what I'm talking about here. So the one relevant for this as uh, it's been an interesting field to watch kind of over the past few years. In terms of this individual performance, it was an improvement. It wasn't, I think it was, it was less than a tenth of a second faster than his previous personal best time. So while it was an improvement, it wasn't like, you know, coming out and dropping two seconds kind of thing. Um, <laughs> uh, well, that was the guy, what the guy from Hungary did who got the second place or whatever um, kind of thing. So, yeah. And it was what he was less than three tenths of a second ahead of this guy who took second place, the Hungarian guy, Christoph Milak. And I think it, it's an interesting... So he's a press favorite in the United States of America with a bunch of press. And so it's it's been an interesting individual to see the press come out about because it's his sec it was his second Olympic Games. For his first Olympic Games, he didn't make the podium or top five in any individual event. And then, so then that was try one back in 2016, then try two in 2021 at the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Uh, he finally won. You know, at least one medal. <laughs> uh, that that check mark is only one check mark, no matter how many individual medals one wins. Right? Is did one win one or more <laughs> at, at a given Olympic Games? Um, he, so he won one or more. So he got that check mark at this Olympic Games, and those second is his second Olympic Games, right? And then it's also the one where he won or not won. He set an individual world record at an Olympic Games like as the competition um, for his, his in an individual event for his first time. Um, so it's an interesting one to kind of contextualize because I'm like, um, in covering this myself at the time on a different platform, uh, which I shall not name, I, it was an interesting one in terms of like, well, isn't somebody like Lydia Jacoby even more impressive, right? She's doing it as a teenager, like a minor a teenager right under 18 she got the gold medal in an individual event in her first olympic games all right there's a, so there's a little bit of like i might call it decay like just the sometimes the press that a person gets is a bit rotten in nature um compared to like well i thought we were building women up not tearing them down kind of like what happened with lydia jacoby uh and so that is which is relevant right there's <laughs> um especially with her being the first Alaskan and stuff, right? Something that's bigger than herself um, kind of got pushed to the side in comparison to the press coverage that Caleb Dressel received, which I thought, and which was, I'd call, um, moderately to mightily <laughs> inappropriate in kind of um, volume and nature of the coverage. And considering his track record, and I think it's at least kind of funny, um, because uh, like nowadays people are like, he's the greatest sprinter of all time. He's like, you know, and the greatest American sprinter and like greatest American Olympian. And I'm going, you know, 
when a person has only, um, well, I would say uh, Lydia Jacoby is a better sprinter, right? On those grounds of how many Olympic games has a person won one or more individual medal in an individual event, he and Lydia Jacoby are equal. And she did something greater than her, right? She did it for her state, her home state. Um, and so it's just kind of, uh, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contextualization of the performance, not necessarily the person. Um, yeah. So if it, if it was the person like promoting the press or paying for the press coverage, then it'd be about the person as well. But it's, it's my take on the, the Caleb Dressel 100 meter butterfly 49.45 seconds from 31 July 2021. So this is a reminder while I'm covering a person, the contextualization is it's an athletic performance contextualization. So it's about the performance itself. And so the contextualization here being, uh, it felt like a waste of press coverage, um, how this was covered. Um, not that, uh, the, I would say the biggest thing was the volume was inappropriate, like way too much. And then also the tone was a bit inappropriate, right? Not giving proper, um, coverage of what kind of was deserving uh, based on like, you know, what matters to American history or, um, gender history and that kind of stuff. So there we go. That's my take on the Caleb Dressel 100 meter butterfly time of 49.45 seconds from 31 July, 2021.